Hi everyone. I have a lot of teachers ask me if there are timers in Active Inspire. So I'm going to show you the various places that there are indeed timers. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you in the resource library. So I've come over to my browser. If you don't see your browser, if it's missing, you can go to um, View and Browsers, or you can do Control B on a Windows computer or Command B, as you can see here on my Mac, and it will bring that back. Okay, so in your second icon along at the top, where I'm hovering my mouse at the moment, second along from the left, that is the resource browser. Make sure you're in the shared resources and you have lesson building tools. If you open that with the little plus or arrow or double click on the folder, you should see another folder called Gadgets. And if you click on those, you have got timers that you can pull onto your screen. So if this was an activity that I wanted my students to do, let me just shrink that down and move it over. As you can see, you can resize them. Um, and then I simply add the number of minutes that I would want my students to be uh, working on this activity up at the board or something. And these ones that we pull out of the, um, there we go, that we pull out of the gadgets area, uh, the gadgets folder, they just count down. Okay, so um, uh, they don't have a sound that happens at the end of them. I think as well if I've saved this on the page, so let me save this right now. Oops, here we go. Um, I think that you can see it's reset. So every time I turn the page, or if I've closed my flip chart and I've reopened it, the only thing with these timers is um, they will stay on the page, but I just have to reset that time each time. Okay, so that's just one thing to bear in mind. The other place you can get a timer, let me just select that and pop it in the bin, is in your tools, under more tools, you have got a clock. Okay, so I came to my tools with this icon. I could also have grabbed it from the top and you've got a clock. You might think, Claire, I don't want a clock, but in actual fact, you can resize this. This will sit over top of anything. So if I minimize my flip chart now, that will continue to hover over the page. Um, it can be just a clock, as you can see. Or we've got some downwards arrows for a countdown or a count up like a stopwatch. So let's do countdown. Um, it's set for five minutes there, but let me oops, take that down to just a few seconds so that I can show you this one does actually have sound. Um, I can also, I want sound. If you don't see a list of sounds here, and I've selected animal sounds from my folder, you would go dot, 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 and find those sounds. So I've already come and found those. I could quite easily have people sounds here or transport sounds, but I like um, a particular sound. I'll cancel that. Um, so I like the rooster to crow. I can also have an action turn on so I can turn to the next page after that time. Um, I could put the reveal tool on so it covers the page so that the students can no longer see it. Um, I can reset the page if I wanted to. Um, let's choose turn to the next page just so that we can see that in action. I can also repeat. So um, where this is quite good is if you set turn to the next page and you have 10 questions, um, for instance, maths questions, uh, mental maths, um, and the students are going to be writing the answer down, you can set that to however long you want, maybe 20 seconds per page, and every 20 seconds 
the rooster will crow only if you want it to um, and the page will turn so um, the students are moving forward in the test at, at a pace um, I won't set repeat on this one though I will set OK and we'll watch a countdown I do have the option to pause it and as you can see it turned the page so you've got a couple of options there for timers to use within Active Inspire.